Hey Blasters, Sean from Blue Dog Blasting. Today we are going to start a rebuild on this big blue bulk blaster. Stay tuned. You should get that uh, the mic that you have. And now, we're doing a rebuild. Bring it to the stage. We've got the French valve. <sighs> All right, blasters. So we took a look at the blast pot that we're going to be rebuilding over the next couple weeks here. So these are pretty much all of the parts and pieces that we're going to be putting onto that pot. Most everything here is available through BlueDogBlasting.com. And as we go through each segment of these videos, all the different parts, we're going to get into a little bit more of the... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Target neutralized. Just everything you see here is by Blue Dog Blasting. You can go to BlueDogBlasting.com pick up any one of these and we'll go through each part as we uh, make the assemblies and put it out on the blast unit so that you can kind of see exactly how to get these parts where uh, they go onto the pot and uh, show you how to assemble everything correctly that way you can get out there and blast get out blast yeah. 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 All right, blasters, so the first part is putting our pusher line on our big blue bulk blaster. So to do that, we've got our red air hose. This is an inch and a half air hose with the inside diameter being inch and a half. We also have our swivel ends, which is Blue Dog SKU number 55704. This is an inch and a half outside diameter on this to go on the inside diameter of that. And to hold it all together is 55708, a two lug clamp to push everything together. So first step, you basically do both ends the exact same. I like to slide my clamp on first. Makes life a little bit easier further down the road. Get your swivel end. A little bit of elbow grease, push that fella around there. And then we'll get this good and tight there. Go around to the other side. Basically do the exact same thing on this side. So the point of this is your air that goes into the pot is going to travel through here, pressurize the pot, and we'll show you back out on the pot once we start installing this. Air is going to flow through this and go to your metering valve. So in order to install this, these swivel ends are just going to make life a whole lot easier so that you can put your hose in place, lock it onto your nipples or whatever threading that you've got and that way you don't have to try to twist the hose. So let's get this assembled so we can get back out there and put this on the machine. Hey Blasters, Sean from Blue Dog Blasting. So today we are gonna do the first step in our rebuild for this big blue bulk blaster, and that is assembling the pusher line that we already made over in the shop a little bit earlier that you saw. Now in order to get this on, we have inch and a half ends with our inch and a half air pipe. So from our piping, we actually have inch and a quarter piping along with the inch and a quarter brass ball valve so that you can shut your air off so you don't have any pressure going to your lines. So we did have to put a reducing nipple going from your inch and a half up to, or I'm sorry, inch and a quarter up to inch and a half to get these on. So let's get everything fitted. All right, Blasters, so part one is done. We have our pusher line assembled and installed on our big blue bulk blaster that we are rebuilding. So all the parts and pieces, again, available at bluedog.com. You can go down to the bottom, find all the links for all those parts and pieces, make things easy for you. If you have any questions or comments, obviously like and uh, comment below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for more videos that are coming up as we go into step two, which is installing the grit valve. Get out there and blast. Yeah.
dog blasting.com. <laughs>